Hi, I'm James Seawood, one of the narrators on the Abide app, a premium ad-free biblical meditation experience. Join the millions of people who download the Abide app to reduce stress, improve sleep, and experience the peace of God every day. You can text the word PEACE to 22433 for a seven-day free trial of Abide. Just text PEACE to 22433, and you'll likely hear from me again on the app as I guide you through daily meditations or help you fall asleep and experience the peace of God. Hi, I'm Bonnie Curry, one of the narrators on the Abide app, a premium ad-free biblical meditation experience. Join the millions of people who download the Abide app to reduce stress, improve sleep, and experience the peace of God every day. You can text the word PEACE to 22433 for a seven-day free trial of Abide. Just text PEACE to 22433, and you'll likely hear from me again on the app as I guide you through daily meditations or help you fall asleep and experience the peace of God. Hello, friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too. And we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. Lucas Black on NCIS was at the height of his Hollywood career when he gave it all up for God. Written by Mel Johnson. Read by Alyssa Forsberg. Actor Lucas Black on NCIS New Orleans was enjoying plenty of success when God called him to leave Hollywood behind. He'd even starred in plenty of movies, including the popular Fast and Furious franchise. But the Holy Spirit convicted him, and this Christian celebrity made a bold decision to put his faith first. Lucas spent most of his life acting, starring opposite Billy Bob Thornton at the young age of 14 in the 1996 Oscar-winning movie Sling Blade. And by the time Lucas Black joined NCIS New Orleans as one of the show's main characters, Special Agent Christopher LaSalle, he was at the height of a successful career. But then Lucas discovered something better than fame and fortune, Jesus. Though Lucas Black grew up in a Christian home where he attended church every Sunday, he sort of drifted from his faith as he got older. But after falling in love and starting a family, he began to reevaluate the role of faith in his life. Though his appearances in movies and on TV certainly provided a good life for his wife and children, there are things money can't buy. And after becoming a father, this actor began looking for something deeper than worldly success. By the time Lucas Black and his wife welcomed their third child in 2015, he turned to the Bible, and that's when he felt God calling him in a different direction. That was when the Holy Spirit convicted me, Lucas recalled, and really, my faith in my relationship with the Lord became a lot closer. That was when I was stepping into the fatherhood role, so I really wanted to point my kids in the right direction. And as Lucas Black went deeper in his relationship with Christ, his time on NCIS New Orleans became more of a burden than a blessing. I knew I was going to have to stand firm and stand strong in my beliefs if I was going to survive and really keep my family held together, he said. That was really when, you know, some people would say I rededicated my life to the Lord in 2015, seeking Him and becoming serious about my relationship with Him. Lucas knew God was calling him to reprioritize his life, and that meant it was time to make a tough choice, one the world likely wouldn't understand. Not only was his rigorous work schedule taking away from Lucas's time with God, but it was also taking away from his time with his wife and kids. And though many would be willing to sacrifice family time for a fat paycheck, Lucas couldn't ignore the convictions in his heart from his Heavenly Father. And so, at the height of his Hollywood career, he made a big decision to step out in faith. In 2019, Lucas Black appeared on NCIS New Orleans for the last time. He decided to take a break from acting and step away from Hollywood. The show has been so good to me over the years, exceeding my expectations and goals, he said. But this job isn't easy for me. There are a lot of priorities in my life that get sacrificed for me to be here, but it's time for me to focus on those priorities in my life. Lucas realized it was time to prioritize spending time with family as well as with his Heavenly Father. After leaving NCIS, Lucas Black and his wife, Maggie O'Brien, prayed about what came next. We were praying what the next step was going to be, Lucas explained. We saw a huge culture shift here in America, and for a long time, movies coming out of Hollywood and entertainment undermined the fatherhood role. God was faithful in answering Lucas's prayer. While at a homeschooling convention, Lucas Black met Pastor Eric Luddy. Pastor Luddy told Lucas about the script for a faith-based film called Legacy Peak. 
Legacy Peak, a Pure Flix original movie, is about a man named Jason who is dating a woman who already has two children. Jason is hoping to win over the hearts of the kids belonging to the woman he attends to marry. He takes the kids on a perfectly planned trip which goes awry and sets them on an unexpected adventure where they are struggling to survive in the wilderness. After reading the movie's script, both Lucas Black and his wife just knew this was God's answer to their prayers. I read it, my wife read it, and she comes to me with tears in her eyes and says, I don't know why you wouldn't be a part of this project, he said. It's one that really sheds a good light on fathers. It shows the need for a good earthly father. It shows how we can find our fulfillment and love from our heavenly father. And it really is one that's going to empower the nuclear family and especially fathers out there. Both the script and the role of Jason spoke to Lucas's heart and his passion for being a good father. One aspect of this story that has changed my perspective is as a father, you want to be flexible with your kids. It doesn't have to be a certain way, he said. For me personally, I know I'm not in control. God's in control. I've got to trust him that my kids, no matter how much I love them and teach them and discipline them, they're going to mess up. But I ultimately have to trust my Heavenly Father that they're in his hands. While Lucas Black certainly deserves praise for his work in Hollywood and on NCIS New Orleans, seeing him now use his gifts to honor God and follow the Father's will for him is truly inspiring. Oh, I hate turkey hunting. I'm freezing. Me too. It feels like 25 below. 25? Did you know you can get up to 25% off grocery store prices at BJ's Wholesale Club? Up to 25% off? BJ sounds perfect for Thanksgiving shopping. They have really good turkey prices, too. Then what are we freezing our bleeps off out here for? Let's go to BJ's. Get a Butterball Whole Turkey for just 99 cents a pound. In club or BJ's.com. BJ's. <laughs> Absurdly simple savings. Woman looking for long-lost father who didn't know she exists finds him thanks to Stranger, written and read by Alyssa Forsberg. One woman went looking for her long-lost father, and thanks to a DNA test and Facebook search, she found him. Adriana Tyler found out at the age of 13 that the man she thought was her father was actually her stepfather. Since then, she has been wanting to find out who her biological father was. I was desperate to find my real dad. It always mattered to me, said Adriana. Now, Adriana is 33 years old, living in Pittsburgh, married, and has two children, Maximus 4 and Presley 2. She decided to take a DNA test and asked for help from people running a Facebook group where they help others locate long-lost relatives. She was hoping these steps would lead her to her dad. This led her to finding out about her 47-year-old aunt, Kathy Johnson, and then she figured out that her biological father was a police officer living in Florida. She said she'd put me in touch with my dad and I was so nervous, shared Adriana. How do you just call someone and ask, are you my dad? Once Adriana contacted her father, Joseph Frank, she realized that he was so excited to find out that he had another daughter. Joseph actually had no idea that she had ever been born, but did remember having a summer fling with Adriana's mother in the 80s. The two lost touch and he had no idea that she had become pregnant and had a baby. When he found out about me, he was so excited and it was such a relief. I felt so vulnerable before in case he wanted nothing to do with me, said Adriana. The two spent the next month getting to know each other over the phone and having daily video calls. Then Joseph traveled from Florida to Pennsylvania to meet Adriana in person for the first time. We spent some time getting to know each other before finally meeting and it was just perfect. It felt like a dream, shared Adriana. We bonded right away, and I finally feel I can start to heal now. Everything ended exactly how it was supposed to. Adriana found out that she has two half-sisters around her age, and Joseph shared that meeting his third daughter was just incredible. It's been pretty amazing. God works in mysterious ways, shared Joseph. At the time when Adriana came into my life, I was going through a tough breakup, and I really needed that. That part of my heart got filled again when I found out about my daughter. It was very emotional. I cried all weekend, Adriana said, about meeting Joseph. It's not until you stood next to someone that you realize how alike you look. To think I've been waiting my whole life for that moment. It was so worth the wait. The father and daughter are excited to start planning their future lives together and keep the family visits coming. What a beautiful reunion story. Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. 
We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production. Our world can feel chaotic and uncertain, but we don't have to live enslaved to fear. Christ has promised you and I his peace, and throughout scripture, he has provided powerful truths and practical steps to help us experience greater freedom. I'm Jennifer Slattery, lead host of the Faith Over Fear podcast, inviting you to join me and my team as together we learn how to starve our fears and grow our faith. Subscribe at lifeaudio.com. The history of the popes of Rome and Christianity reaches into nearly every aspect of history. In the History of the Papacy podcast, we step over the rope. We dive in to discover more about the people, events, and background that define the influence of the Popes of Rome and Church, not only on the West, but the world. To start listening now, go to ParthenonPodcast.com or search for History of the Papacy on your favorite podcast platform.